gym partner. Because a pie made out of pasta is exactly what you need in your life. This carbon carb heavy dish can be seen all over the island of Malta. And today, we are going to find the best specimen of the dish. So, what makes a good timpana? For me, the main thing is definitely the pasta. The pasta has to be cooked well. I want it to be a little bit al dente, but cooked through enough that it has a nice, rich bite. Two, the actual ingredients. Is the sauce good? Is the mint fresh? We have bacon. Do we have hard boiled eggs? Do we have cheese? Three, the freshness of the actual dish. I don't want something that's been lying in the display all day long. I need it to come right out of the oven. I'm hungry. I think Sean's hungry. I hope you're hungry, because we're about to go eat some timpano. Okay, so here we are, guys, in Zabar, right between the Vgura Church and the Zabar Church, outside Maxim's Pasteceria. This place is really cool. Opened in 1964. That's like 55 years of serving timpana, pastizzi, sausage rolls, pizza, everything. We grab the timpana. It's looking good. Let's see what we got. So you know like when you're returning to Malta on the airplane and you're looking out the window and you're seeing Malta for the first time? That sense is the smell I am getting right now. Yo, it looks super crispy. I mean, it is super crispy. I'm gonna jump into this. That topping is really, really, really good. You follow it up with some of that meaty, tangy sauce. Oh my God, the tomato sauce. Tastes like your Nanna's tomato sauce. This is essentially Maltese flavor. Yo, let's stop, because I'm gonna keep eating this. I'm gonna keep eating this whole thing. It tastes like Malta. It looks like Malta if Malta was carbs on carbs. So for me, the name is obvious. This is definitely the Independenza Timpana. I mean, it was literally established in 1964, like this great nation. Maxim's Zabbar. Here we are in the middle of the road of Zuri outside Sphinx Pasteur. You know we had to come to Sphinx because they have multiple timpanas. I'm holding two of them right here. Timpana Tonda, AKA the small timpana. You know, bite size, I mean, this is still a meal. Don't let its size fool you. This is still gonna fill you up. I mean, there's a layer of carbs on another layer of carbs. But over here, fresh out of the oven, straight out of the oven. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> Golden brown, beautiful. Jesus, so, you know, I'm not really sure what a real tampon is. Is it this one? Is it the one with the pastry on top? I'm, I'm, I'm getting confused. Let me know in the comments below. What is a real tampon? I, I just want to pick up this tampon pie and just like give it a nice big bite. Let's see if I can. The non eat love this, man. The non eat love this. So, cheesy. Cheese jumps right out at you. Very, very cool. I like that. Pasta's cooked really nice, man. Well, just a bit beyond al dente, so it's a little bit of a bite. Obviously, the pie pastry is just stunning. Eating this, I understand why someone had the bright idea of making a pasta pie. It works. Tampana tonda. I love doing that. So there's eggs in this, hard boiled eggs. Very savory sauce, very tomato-y, not so herby. So this has like no cheese. So if you're a cheese type of person, you want to get the pie. Okay, do not go for the tonda, go for the pie. But if you like eggs, you gotta go for this. But for me, the name is obvious. This is the diversity tampana, because they've got something for everybody. I mean, you like tortelloni, tortellinis. You like this pastizzi pastry, or you like a pie. Sphinx Zuri. But Zuri, man, you need to get your sh together. So here we are, Max Man Paola. We have returned. They featured in our second episode, the Woody Sausage Roll episode. <coughs> Shabba Flakes. Super young, super fresh, super friendly. And I even think some of the locals have recognized us. But anyway, here we are for their tampana. I think it's a fresh tampana. I just saw them pull out the tray. They literally just pulled out the tray while we were waiting. Super hot, but the burn is worth it. The tomato sauce. The smell jumps out at you. You can really, really smell it on this. It smells like home, it smells very, very fresh. Still wet, so it hasn't been in the display. Very fresh, which is what you want. They've got a nice bit of char on this. They even got a char on 
the sauce so you can get some solid form sauce here. Very rare. But enough with the talking. Let's see what it tastes like. Holy shit. It smells really good. Oh my God. We got that drip. We got that drip. The name has to be the Saucy Sauza Timpana because it is hot, fresh out of the oven and juicy AF. Maxman, Paula. Okay, so you know the drill. I'm full. Sean, the videographer's full. Everybody's full apart from one very important person. Our boat driver, Carm. Now, oh. Carm, I know you love Timpana. Yeah, I do. And I know you've been driving us around all day and you're a little bit hungry. So I I'm got super you. hungry. Super hungry. Yes. Super excited to hear that because I've got you a massive, massive Timpana here. I need you to do me one favor though. I need a review from you. Can I get that? Yes, for sure. Okay. Today, Carm. Thank you. Oh, it smells nice. It smells nice? Yeah. There we go. Mmm. This tumpana is very good. Super good. So, Carm, what are we giving it? Zero thumbs up, one thumb up, or two thumbs up? Two thumbs up. Bolt approved. So here we are, guys. Lua Road, Ormi literally in the road. We're about to die any second. Down the road from that Lua penis monument. Best thing in Malta. Outside, Jeff's Pasteceria. My name is Jeff. I've never been here before. People said I gotta come here and try the timpano. Let's run inside and see what timpano they've got on offer. Here we are, Jeff's. We got the timpano. Freshly made, right out of the oven. And oh my God, I mean, it wouldn't be love and eat unless there was a scattering of sesame seeds. Nice scattering of sesame seeds on the top. The sauce roll is nice and sesame though. Lots of sesame seeds on the top. So, right off the bat, nice crispy top layer well stuck on to the rest of the pasta. We've got a bit of char. I can see cheese, I can see tomato. Cool, I can see actually tomato pieces in this, even a bit of tomato skin, which I haven't seen in the sauces of the other places, so that's pretty cool. It's calling my name right now. This tampon is saying, Jonathan, Jonathan, put me in your mouth. Boom. Oh, yes. Yo, this is seasoned. You got a layer of sauce, it's dried out a little bit, but as soon as you go deeper, it's so wet, so juicy. From the location, to the traffic, to the noise, to the pollution, China boys. To the penis monument down there, to the construction, to the flyover, I didn't have very high expectations for this location. That's why I'm naming this the underdog tempana. Has to be the underdog tempana. Why? Because it's really, really good. Don't be fooled by other details. It's all about the taste. Jeff's or me. Here we are again in Hamroon, right outside Queen's Pastateria. I think it's Pastateria. Their signage is down right now. But wow, they've got a lot on offer. Their tempana looks super traditional. It's probably the largest of the day. I mean, look at this big bad boy. They weren't so happy with the fact that we called their next door neighbor chicken. It's chicken dry. Skin on point, seasoning on point. The meat's a little bit dry though, if I'm gonna be honest. So they've actually given us a piece of their chicken on the house to do a quick review of. Dry chicken might be a hamroon thing. Well, we'll get to that in a second. Okay, let's start with the tempana right now. So it comes in that paper. Very good. Wow, this is big. This is a big boy. Is there a more filling meal in Malta than a tempana? It's so cheap and affordable, and it's just massive. This is bigger than some people I know. Like, this is just a large stack of pasta. So we've got sauce, as you can see. We've got some cheese all over the place. We've got a nice crust, very soft. It is not a crispy, crunchy crust, very, very soft, nice and warm. This is a pillow. I could see myself sleeping on this. From the crust to the pasta, melt in your mouth, kind of. Chunks of mints, okay? We didn't have that much today, so there you go. Nice. This is obviously the Nanna Juza Campana. Very soft bite, very traditional look to it as well. I mean, as soon as you bite into it, you feel like you're having a family dinner on a Sunday with your Nanna. Queens, Hamroon. Bonus review, even though it's episode nine. We got that fried chicken again. All right, so this is a fried chicken from Queens. They said I needed to try it. Thigh, 
Very crispy. Okay. Seasoning is very good, if it is a little bit dry. But like I said, he told me he was in the display all day, so. Surprisingly though, the meat is tender. I guess dry chicken is a hamroon thing. Here we are in beautiful, 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 beautiful Mosta. What is this, a town, a village, a city? What do you call Mosta? So as you can see, it is nighttime. It takes time to eat a lot of timpana, guys. And I'm outside Premier in Mosta to get the final timpana of the day. Now obviously Premier, super popular because they make all their own stuff in-house right over here. Here we go, whoa. Very, very wide upper pastry. Practically covers the whole thing. And it's still stuck to it, man. That's very, very good. That's a good sign. You want it to be stuck. You don't want it to be all loosey-goosey. Are you hearing that crisp? That should be illegal. Beautiful contrast between the softness of the pasta and the sauce and the super crunchiness of this upper layer. That's a great contrast. Okay, so as soon as I bit into this, one thing really jumped out to me, this beautiful upper layer of crust, very crispy. So for me, the name is obvious. This is the 10th Campana, because you have that beautiful upper layer, very big, very wide, very enveloping, just covering the whole thing, keeping it warm and safe and lovely. Premier Mosta. So that's it guys, a day full of timpana, the carbs of all the Maltese pastateria foods. We have learned that there's timpana pie, timpana in foil, and even timpana tondi. When it comes to my favorite dish, I have to say I love the sauce of places like Max Man and Paola, the glorious crispy upper crust of places like Premier, as well as the al dente bite of places like Sphinx. But what I want to know is which place looked the best to you, and where do you Find the best Tampana Malta. Until next time, it has been Jonathan Chile for Love and Eat, and we are out.